Hello, Georgia Burns here and um, welcome back to my card making. Today I'd like to show you how I've made this one. Now this card I have used I don't know if you can see it, yes, the Happy and that is um, Gold Flakes My stamping up is selling Gold Flakes Let me see if I can find them now my ones are not stamping ups, gold flakes. Um, mine have what I've had for years. I think they were in my friend's Brenda's stash when I was given her car off room. And I'll say a car off room. I wasn't actually given her car off room. I was given her stash out of her craft room to which I've got rid of most of it that I don't use and I remember seeing these gold flakes right they're on page 33 guild leafing embellishments that's what they're called in the catalogue and mine are in a box along with the brush and mine I've got bronze, blues, reds and greens in with the gold because I think this is like a Christmas one but I'm going to show you how I used it on here now I was supposed to put gold leafing on the DSP pressed petals DSP that's what this is called uh, and I forgot to do it on this one because I stuck the paper down before I was thinking of anything else. But I will do it on the one I'm going to make. So for this card I have got a cherry cobbler card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Scored up four and one eighth. I've burnished. A piece of pressed petal DSP. Oh no. Let's get this right. Which one's the smallest? They're the same size. Of oh, five and five, a piece of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and then a piece of the pressed petal DSP at five and a half by three and three quarters. A piece of vellum at four inches by two. Two and a half, so that's four inches by two and a half. I'll go on the inside, and a piece of white cardstock for inside. Did I do anything inside? Oh, I did. So that's that. You need a scrap of cherry cobbler for the butterflies, and I've already cut my butterflies out, and I've just spotted I didn't poke that out. That's just laziness that is. Um, yeah, I have cut my flower out and my three butterflies, but I will stump the flower again. Just put these holes out the butterfly. So today we're actually concentrating on the gilding. Right, so we need this, this and the inside bit. We can go there. Oh, stamp sets I'm using. Pretty perennials for the word happy, the word birthday and that little flower dot there which I'm going to use on the press petal DSP and positive thoughts and we're, I've done the flower and we're going to use this leaf here 
So let's do the press petals first. So embossing buddy, wipe down the paper with our Versa mark and our very small flower dots. And what we're going to do is just dot in the middle of the flowers around the edges. Just the ones around the edges that you can see. I'm also going to put some here just to even out the um, gold. Right now, I have got some. Who makes this? This is heat and stick powder by Ranger. And I need some scrap paper. And we're going to stick sprinkle this all around the edges of the paper where I've stamped them first mark. I don't want to miss any. Lift it up. And pour it in. Put that there. Put a lid on that. Get rid of any we don't need. Right. Now we're going to heat this. All we're going to do is melt it. And you just want to run your heat tool, just run it over it. Don't hold it too long over the powder. So I'm just warming this up. It doesn't need to be too warm. And as soon as you see it melting, move on. Don't, don't linger over it. Oh, there's a couple there, haven't I? Right. Turn off, bring in your gold flakes. Now this gold flake does fly everywhere. And dip your paper in to it to pick it up. As you can see, it has got on it. And I am, with the brush, just brushing off what's not needed This stuff does fly everywhere, and I mean everywhere. Right, put that back in. I'm going to put the lid back on for now. See what I mean about it flying everywhere. And you'll see, oh, you can't see, yeah, little bits of gold here and there, where my thumb is. Just on the flowers, there's just little hints of gold 
and when that sits on there it will just shine up on the around the edges obviously there's little stray bits on there which we will get rid of and then that can sit on its white frame I think you can just about see it glaring so let's sit this on its white frame Right, well, we'll just put that to the side. And now we're going to do this one. Our embossing buddy and wipe down the paper and vellum. And with the word happy, we're going to ink that well and truly up. And we're going to stamp happy at the top right hand corner right. I'm gonna sprinkle Done it upside down. That's all right. We'll put the flower at the top. That's put me off that. Right. this back in get rid of that and then we'll just melt it again and bring in our flakes and dip it in get our brush brush off what we don't need And there is our word, happy. You see that? And this has picked up a bit of red, bronze, blue and yellow. And a bit of green there, which I think looks nice. Now then, we need to do some stamping, so I'm bringing this piece back in, and with our old olive, we are going to stamp some leaves, only a little bit of it, not the whole branch, there, 
and down there like that. Well, our flower will go in that top corner and we're also going to stamp this on our inside card just like that and that's all we're doing inside right finish with that with our cherry cobbler we're going to stamp the word birthday make sure I've got it the right way and we're going to put it down here Like that. Put that there to dry and get rid of that. Get rid of that and bring in our card. Right, stick this inside in because that's all we're putting on the inside, just the leaves. Just for a little bit of decoration, that's all we've done that for. Nothing major. Right, this will go on the front. Right. Needs to go that way. Now then, to put this down on there, what I did was, not that for a start, was I, that's going to go on there, but on dimensionals, but these butterflies, because they help with, I'm going to put one there, and as soon as I've done this this way, I'm going to put one in that corner one in there just above the happy so let's glue these on just glue them in the middle and glue them down And then we can glue this. So we can put some glue under the butterflies. Under the happy birthday as long as it don't show through. And then in this corner because the flower's going to be there. And then we'll just place this in the middle. Of a card. Preferably straight. Now, I want a couple of dimensionals on the back of the flower.
Oh, I haven't got any small. I'm going to put a pop of glue on this happy birthday. And then on this tail of the happy. That's it. Just to keep them corners down. Let's hit a bit of gold. Never mind. Right, I am going to put some gems on. Now, I have got these gold gems, which I'm going to put one in the middle of each butterfly. Like I always do. With glue. And I've got some uh, roses um, buttons and I'm popping a rose in the middle of the white gem, uh, what, uh, middle of the flower. That is my card done. Hope I made it easy for you to understand about the flaking, the flaking, gold flakes, different layout. You can't see it because of the light. Still can't see the gold. That's it. Lift them up, you can see it. I hope you enjoyed that. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up and comment and share. You could also subscribe to my channel. And if you press the bell icon, you could be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually um, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And another thing is, don't forget, as of Monday the 8th of February, my channel name is changing to Georgie B's Card and Stuff cards and stuff which will come to you because this will be shown Friday it will be Monday the 8th all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon